Before you saw me with eternal eyes, why was it in sin? Restoration, healing, deliverance, testimonies with Dr. Jesus in action. You are watching Hour of Testimonies with Apostle Chibuz Ochinere, General Overseer, OPM Worldwide. When you climbed up on that hill. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Victoria Abe. I'm from Delta State. I live at number seven, Elohani. I'm at the Lodge, Elohani here. Before I came to this OPM, before I located this OPM, more than seven pastors, anywhere I go to, they will tell me that a woman in your father's house vowed that you will feed from hand to mouth and you will offer her dead body, will you marry? But when I look at, and I, I said, what did I do to anybody now? I have searched myself. I said, if there's anything I've done to anybody, I will even go and beg. But what I was looking for was the solution. After telling me, I would ask them, what will I do? So in what church that I went to, they said, the only solution is that I will carry a, a prayer warrior to my father's house to go and pray. When I asked them how to go about it, they said I was going to give them 74,000 naira for fasting. And I, I looked for the money, start begging till I got money because I've stayed eight years after graduation, no job. Nobody is even saying, I want to friend you, Seth. So, hey! Wonder! Eight years, no job. Nobody the price. Nobody tell us, excuse me, please. Can I toast you? Is she bread? We go toast. One of no. Or bread and a toast, a toast. Wonder. Uh -huh. So, I agreed and started looking for money. Tea. I begged them and they collected 60,000 naira. They said it's for fasting. Uh -huh. Then I chartered motor and we went to my village. We did a night vigil. And we came back. That night that I came back, for the first time in my life, I even saw the woman. She was using chain to drag me. Drag me. I was shouting, shouting, till like shouted blood of Jesus. And she ran. <laughs> it was... That very day when I go to the family deliverance. After your face is on the I you to It was... After like three months, after I went to, them, to my village, that I met one of my sister's friends. She came to our house because I, I stay with my other sister. She was telling me that if somebody cannot get a job, can't the person marry? She now said there's one church she, she has heard so much of. She's not a member of this place, so she's a Catholic uh, member. She said I should go to OPM, that she's sure that my story will change. And I said, what do you mean? Is it that the church I am, is there no power there? She said, okay now. So after like another three months, I met another friend again. She said, hey, she has been looking for me. I should go to one church, they call OPM. In short, I should start going there now because that day was Tuesday. I said, okay. I didn't Give want Jesus to... a clap of it. Confirmate to. Different people say, go to. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. In the whole of Federal Republic of Nigeria, everybody knows. Amen. Power. Huh? So after that, one day I just dressed up. I said, on a Sunday like this, I said, let me just get to room with that junction. That name just rang, rang on my brain. I said, okay, that OPM. That was how I came to this OPM. After listening to the prayer, I said, no. Somebody cannot hear this type of prayer and still remain the same. Mm -hmm. I told myself that. Are you Juju? I told myself that there's no how something must happen here. So I collected enough is enough. I mark uh, the date that I want to testify on the calendar. I tried as much as I can and did that assignment very well. 
The day the assignment ended, I was, it was on a Tuesday, I was inside this church. I was telling myself, hey, the assignment has ended. That same night, somebody came and told me that, uh, that they are looking for a cashier in account office in their company. Mm. And I thought that she has been thinking of who she know that can, that will not run away with company money. She now remembered me. She said, Auntie, will you walk the next day? Come. That was how I went to their company the next day. And the white man, as he just saw me, he said, as I just look at you, I like you. Tomorrow, just resume. And that was how. After eight years of graduation, after eight years of graduation, give Jesus a clap of him. Eh? That was how I worked in that uh, construction company for two years, and I left there. I got another one, triple the salary I was taking in that place. Triple the salary. Give Jesus a clap of him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And today now, why I came here? Because somebody that they said she will feed from hand to mouth. I came here now to dedicate my land. Live on. Nida. Are you finished? Yes, uh. Praise the Lord. Last two, last three weeks, one of my auntie and she, she went to... Uh, governorship election, so she fell there. She fell down there. They fired her arrow, uh, st arrow of stroke. So my mother called in the village and said that she has already entered moto. She and her daughter should carry them to OPM. So I brought them here. She was not working. We have to carry her to this place. That two weeks ago, and Daddy prayed for her. If you see her leg, she couldn't walk. But inside this uh, church here, yeah, the leg that was just swallowing up, the, the, the leg just burst and water was just coming out. And daddy prayed for her, and as I'm telling you now, she can walk very well. The stroke has gone. Even inside the church here, yeah, she wanted to, she was saying that she's a contractor, but for a long time, she, nobody has given her job, that she wants to take assignment for, for contract. I said, you will not, first of all, heal yourself. She said she will heal herself first, but she's thinking of that contract. Inside the church here, yes, a phone rang and they called her, come and supply how many trips of sand. She was just shouting, I said, you see, now God has done everything. Praise the Lord. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus is in action. God is here. My name is Joshua Okere. I'm from Imo State to Owere. I want to say what God did on me on Owere there is a particular pharaoh in my father's house. This man came my father last year. So reaching this year March, I traveled home and start my building. So this man vowed over his dead body that will not be alive for me to complete the house. Wonderful. The pharaoh, after killing the father, said he will not be alive to see him build his own house. Okay, can you? So last week, Thursday, my mother called me. The man saw people that are walking in my sight. So I travel home and comfort the man. The man tell me that I should remember what, what happened to my father. Unless I want to join to my father to the grave. I tell him that you are a liar. You are not the owner of my life. But wait, so your father, was he a member of OPM? No. Eh? no. That was why the man succeeded in killing him. That is why the man succeeded in killing him. Because if the father was a member of Obey, Oga and Waya. So continue. So, on Monday, I come in this altar and kneel down. Write the man's name, place in this altar. <laughs> Cry to God. May the Lord advertise in power. Mm -hmm. On Wednesday, 5 p.m., my mother called me that the man is a mortuary. Yes. The man went and stopped the people. Stop walking. the walk. So you travel. When did you travel to the village? I traveled last week Thursday. Last week Thursday. 
When the trouble lost, he said, oh God, why do you stop people walking my house? The man said, eh? You want what happened to your father to happen to you? But the man no no say this man there is somewhere where passing on. He no no say in the OP and where passing on. Let me tell you. The fear of OPM is the beginning of wisdom. OPM knows what to pray for you to go. Allow. Amen. Shout hallelujah. After Thursday last week, you come here on Monday. That is Thursday, Friday. How many days? Straight for your hands, everybody. Stand up, everybody. And pray this. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I summon all my Pharaoh. To the altar of God. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Yes. 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 Oh God, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, I summon on the field to the altar of God. Yes. Yes. In Jesus of Bring. Is done. OPM. Doctor Jesus in action. Doctor Jesus in action. God is here. Truly, God is here. My name is Helen David. I'm from Kaduna State. I want to thank this great God for saving my father from the house of Boko Haram. My dad has been there fighting for this country. It has been over five years we saw him. So when Daddy said we should write that seven prayer points, Wait, we want. Moving very, very fast. He said, your father is fighting, is an army officer. Yes. Okay, he's fighting for this country. Uh-huh. For how many years? He has, this is 28 years in serving. In army? Yes. So what happened? Uh -huh. When daddy said we should write that seven things. No, but no, before that one, he said, he said, he said something about five years. But we are moving very fast. Okay. And we haven't seen him for five years. You haven't seen your father for five years? Yes. Why? He has... Because of the nature of his duty. Okay, uh, he's fighting Boko Haram. Yes. Yes, he's fighting Boko Haram for five years. They've not seen him. Uh -huh. So when Daddy said we should write down seven things we want God to do for us. So I wrote down the seven things I want God to do for me. Daddy said that the number seven um, prayer point has been changed to the number one. And that number seven, I wrote down that the, that last year will not pass by without my dad coming to see us. So the next day, he called us that the pass he has been um, asking from his boss for two years has been granted. Mm. So he came last year and came and met us. My dad is somebody who doesn't attend church. So my mom persuaded him he came here. When prayer was going on, daddy said that there's somebody here for that you are supposed to be promoted, even your junior, you're not serving your juniors. So he released the prayer point. My mom also joined my dad in praying. When he went back, he called us that he has been promoted. Uh -huh. And I also want to thank this great God. In my mother's house, I'm the first to dedicate Mad mission later. God has used me to change the history of my mother's house. She is the first to enter university. Clap for Dr. Jesus, everybody. Lay down. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are here to testify the goodness of God in the life of my mom. She was sick for the past two years. And we have been going from different hospitals to hospitals. She has been sick for two years. They've been going from one hospital to another. Eh? And no cure. Mm. So reaching on the 29th of last month, my sister brought us here. So after last prayer... Month. Last month. 29th of last month. The sister brought them here. Eh? So after prayers, we still come back on Sunday. After the assignment, coming back on, on Thursday, 
my mom told me that she has been healed. Praise the Lord. Give Jesus a cup of it. And she has been sick how long? How long? For two years now. For two years. But she came under one week. She was healed. There's no one like you, Jesus. There's no one like you. In our the end. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Chief Honorable Paul Taribo. I happen to come around to give this great testimony for what the Lord has done for me through a member of this church who identified me, knew my circumstances, and advised me to come around and see the senior pastor. And I came, they prayed for me. The amazing testimony in this is that on the day of my election, because I was newly elected member of Abaya State House of Assembly, and I thank God. Jesus, a clap of it. Uh -huh. And I thank God what this young man did for me. On the day of election, he took overwhelming risk in all the bullets, in all the fights that was going on. He stood out himself and then led me through victory. And I want to thank God and I want to thank the senior pastor. And I say, by his prayers, by his encouragement, I'm today elected a member of Abia House of Assembly. Shout hallelujah. How to know a true prophet? How do you know a true prophet? A true prophet is someone when he prophesies God brings it to pass this is House of Assembly member representing Ukwa East that is my local government and by the grace of God he came here and Dr. Jesus have put him there give Jesus a clap of him how do you know a prophet many of you have witnessed um, the governor of Abia State came here and testified prayed for him Booah! he became governor Shout hallelujah. Many of you have testified in the same altar. The former governor of River State wrote to me a message. He testified here. I pray for him. He became governor of River State. Clap for Dr. Jesus. Many of you witness when every storm was against Barista Yes of Weekend. By the grace of God, he came here. I said, Take the key to River State Government House. I said, Give him the key. He won the election. Now, did the prophets, did the prophecy not come to pass? How do you know a prophet? A prophet is someone, when he prophesies, God brings it to pass. When he prophesies, God brings it to pass. When he prophesies, God brings it to pass. If, how do you know a prophet? A prophet is someone, when he says this person will be governor, the person becomes governor. When he says this person shall be president, the person becomes president. When he says this person shall be senator, the person becomes senator. When he says this person shall be this, the person becomes this. When he says this person shall be pregnant, the person becomes pregnant. That is how you know a prophet. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Onisoki and Josephine Victor. I from Engene. God make my husband a caretaker member in this past administration. Mm. But I'm here to dedicate the plot of the land. My husband bought in Rumo Lumini. Clap for Dr. Jesus. God made the husband the, a caretaker in the past administration and now they come to dedicate land. Eh? OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Choma Justice Ekiti. I want to thank God for his goodness in my life and family. Today, I want to dedicate the land that my husband bought. Clap for Dr. The, Jesus, everybody. And the car that he bought for me and his own. Clap for Dr. Jesus. Oh, he, he, he bought one car for you, then one for him, then he bought the land. Clap for Dr. Jesus. Lay down. 
That is two moto with the land. Hope here. Doctor Jesus in action. Doctor Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Emmanuel Onoja. I live at number five Chuku Olanda Avenue, Robo Kalagbo. I just want to thank God how God healed my daughter from eye problem. Last month, combined service before we came here, my daughter is just six months old. So from two months, I discover how she continues crashing her eyes and her eyes begin to swallow up. And the eyelids begin to change color. Then she we decide to visit doctor and doctor say, um, it's not normal. He placed her on uh, permanent and eye drop and then drugs. I said, no, my daughter cannot start using eye drop from this age. So after combined service last month, we meet daddy for prayer and daddy gave us assignment on Dr. Jesus healing. To my greater surprise, before the end of the assignment, everything vanished. No eyes crash. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, my name is Jane Madeke. I located OPM, and since then, I've been coming here. God has done a lot of things in my life. God has done a lot of things in my life. Which I have testified here in this exalted altar. Mm. So today, what brought me here is to thank God for keeping this pregnancy. When this pregnancy was young, it was threatening to go out. So I came here and gave testimony for the pregnancy and the pain left. Clap for that, Jesus. When the pregnancy was threatening, I came here and testified. And it was sealed. Power. Eh? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So today I am here to dedicate my landed properties which God has given me in OPM. Clap for Dr. Jesus. There's no one like you, Jesus. There's no one like you in our VM. Glory to God. <laughs> you just watch the testimonies of people. You are next to testify in the name of Jesus. If you are not giving your life to Christ, you are missing a lot. Kneel down wherever you are. You want to surrender your life to Christ? It's easy. It's simple. Just kneel down. Let me pray with you. I repeat this after me. Father Lord, I am a sinner. I have sinned against you. And I have done terrible things against you. Forgive me my sins. Remove my name from the book of death. And transfer it to the book of life. I promise. Starting from today, I will never go back to my old ways again. In Jesus' name. It's so simple. Just lay on your chest. Let me pray with you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, for the Savior, well, if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn it for their wicked ways, they will lie from heaven and I'll forgive them and say, Heal the land. Heal the land for today today. Cleanse them, wash them, let them wet and ask no. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. It's, it's done. If you're sick or you need breakthrough, just lay hand on your te television screen and pray with you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, by your anointing upon my life, I speak. Speak unto every affliction, every barrenness, every sickness. I cause right now to die in the name of Jesus. Leave this body, for this body is the temple of God in the name of Jesus. You frustration, disappointment, uh, uh, poverty right now, I command you in the name of Jesus to vacate this life now, to release the destiny now in the name of Jesus. Congratulations. So many things will begin to happen in your life. But I also, I'm also inviting you to come and see me. It's very easy. You don't need to pay money to see me. You don't need to, there's no logistics. Just come to the church. You see the address on the screen, or you call me on my phone. I give an appointment. You come and you meet me. I'll give you an assignment. Once I give you that assignment, you do it very well. Your story must change in the name of Jesus. God loves you. Bye bye. Truly, God is here. God is really here. Honestly, God is here. Truly, God is in OPM. I am a testimony and I am a witness. You are a faithful God. You are the same God yesterday. You are the same God today. You are the same God forever. You change it not.